Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and we're going to jump into this legendary Iron Man um, gameplay of month number 3. Uh, first things first, we got a quick response mission uh, where 8 of our operatives are going in to defend a uh, resistance supply convoy and protect our assets. We don't know uh, against how many enemies we're up to, so that's going to be in, in, uh, pretty... Um, Pretty interesting. Interesting is the word that I was looking for. Let me uh, field the squad here real quick and then we're giving it a go. Alright, there we go. We got a full squad um, and we took whatever weapon uh, weapons we can find. Roby and Renvin at Galleon Po, a couple of our best units combined with a couple of our rather rookie units. And uh, we are probably going to have a lot of opposition, so let's see um, if we can beat all of them. Here we go. Alright, freshly landed our focus on scavenging supplies in the region has gotten advance attention. Enemy forces have been uh, have immobilized the convoy carrying supplies back to the resistance. They've launched um, transports to eliminate anyone they find and destroy anything of use. We're moving both to protect our people and the crucial supplies, eliminate all hostile forces because uh, before they can do additional damage so the convoy can escape. Failure will prevent us from conducting supply um, missions in this region for some time. Even more important, other than obviously reinforcements uh, coming in, um, we can keep the corpses if need be. And very, very important for us is to move fast because we only have one round. Um, we got our operatives back here. There might be enemies already on the map, we don't know that. We got six of our resistance forces. So we gotta use um, Dragonova to essentially scout out what's ahead. I'm willing to take Ghostwalker to not trigger any pack. We got high ground over here. And it seems as if there it seems as if there would be only limited um, limited alien forces on the map. They might drop over time. So let's see. We're probably well intended to go over here, take the high ground and sort of fight in that area. And put our forces together, so that might be a good idea. Now, of course, the question here is... Are we going to double move or are we simply going to make it taken over what trap it really depends on where the reinforcements are landing let's take a single move and see if they can spot something out so far that's not the case by the way always a good idea to bring the scientists along that's exactly what you need on a supply run If they can, uh, can't hold a gun, they shouldn't be in a firefight. It's really that simple. Okay, for the rookies it's definitely overwatch time. Okay, all of them are on Overwatch. You know, the advantage of the Overwatch trap would be that we're getting a few shots into 
potential incoming forces, but only if they land somewhat near our area. In cases like the SMG, I feel that that's almost wasted effort because the weapon deals no significant damage, might as well continue moving forward. Alright, a few overwatches. I think since he has a shotgun, same principle applies. Just move in. Hunker down. And here we go. Let's see what we're dealing with. Ooh, that's four enemies right there. I've got eyes on admin troops. And another four teleporting in. I got nothing. Missed. At least one of the overworld shots was a hit. Nah, only grazing shots. Well, valiant effort for overwatch shots, but overall it again did not work out very well. Let's start with our troops over here. Taking full cover. The odds of hitting are again like super low, so we got to change that a little bit. I like the idea of um, of collecting corpses, but I'm not sure if we can actually pull it off. These guys have really good cover and it feels that we are in a tough spot here. Hmm. Let me think. All of these guys here use explosives. We could go for a 100% kill on the Stun Lancer or the Viper. I think the Viper would actually be a good target. Because we can kill the Stun Lancer with other means. And we do have Run and Gun, but unfor- oh wait, we could reach the Stun Lancer. Yeah, let's start with Run and Gun. Remnant moves in, and this might kill the Stun Lancer with one go. Almost. We're going for teamwork. Effectively, Roby gives up his turn. Renman simply had the better uh, shooting angles, so it made sense.
Good, next up, let's take care about the Viper. I think this one here would be a good idea. Problem is we still can be flanked. So killing it fast was important. Now we're down to two enemies. We got a nice little shotgun attack uh, going on. Let's fortify ourselves. And we're moving in. I love the shotguns. Very, very impactful. We got an SMG and Outrider could still finish the target. And we also got Edgar Elliot Poe here. Let's start with Edgar. Still moving in. Yeah, that's not too bad. I suppose good enough. Moving close. And we got all of the four corpses, so that worked out pretty well. Moving over here, we still, we do have theoretically a shot to an exposed trooper, if, if need be. But before we do that, let's do the no-brainer turns. We're going to flank him. And that's one down. All right. So. Getting into the nice full cover spots to flank all of these guys. Nah. Good, we still got one more rookie to go. Position confirmed. And let's hit this guy here really good. Very nice. Oh, uh, we're fighting against uh, the loss as well. Are you kidding me? Okay, at least she does, does not get revealed. More reinforcements inbound.
Interesting, in the normal game if you kill the last enemy, um, then there is no chance for you to be detected. Very interesting to see that they have changed that. Yeah, in most of the cases, to be honest, we unfortunately need to reload in order to take overwatch shots. Getting a little bit closer. We got an outloader, so might as well move closer <clears throat> and do the overwatch shot. Solid cut. Reload here. We could go on overwatch with a shotgun. Not the, not the highest likelihood to hit, but still okay. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. So here we go, round number two. Right next to the shotgun, perfect. Unfortunately only two damage. Ah. Okay, that was only one uh, pack coming in. Well, that is very much doable. Might as well go over here. Good idea to give him a shotgun. I really like how it turned out so far. The rookies start moving in. Moving to designated coordinates. Kill confirmed. Negative weapon strike. Can move the rookies afterwards. Let's kill the advent uh, soldier first Renvin moving in and there we go
just preventing that he takes another shot and uh, is going to sit, sit in the med bay for ages. So preemptive healing there because we have actions left over. Double movement for most of our resistance operatives. And Roby is making his way over to the high ground here. We don't have a sniper, so we got to take positions where we have good line of sight. There is just a lot of cover here. Okay, so far we did quite well. Now let's see how we are dealing with the loss. Thank you. Uh, thanks for our um, resistance order. We shouldn't really have much problem with them. And the good news is we can keep all of the corpses, so might as well start provoking more of them first things first i think we need to get our technician out of there Secondly, let's move into a distance where we know for, for sure that they're not going to find us. And then we're taking the shots. Problem with them coming in and uh, reinforcements is any form of overwatch here will, will be triggered by the losts. This guy here just hit three shots in a row. Pretty impressive. Although, actually, Edwin should uh, move first, so... Maybe it's a better idea to go on Overwatch. Alright, reload and overwatch. You know, Roby's moving up here just for the high ground bonus. He's probably not going to stay there, but for the reinforcements, that's good enough. Renvin reloads overwatch. I think the position beforehand was better. Don't know why I changed that one. The crates up here block a lot of uh, line of sight. Uh, we should take positions up here. That way, no matter where the reinforcements are landing, we get the maximum amount of potential overwatch shots. Shotgun reload and overwatch.
good let's let's see what the enemies are dropping this turn so far we had three pots that's number four and five pot of four no pot of five and pot of five All right, frame drop. Okay, we got some injuries. We got some injuries, but nine of them survived. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so Run in and gunning. let's make sure we can get everyone, shall we? I think this over here is a decent spot. No need to ask twice. Moving in. And with his newfound ability of Deadeye, this guy here is definitely toast. We could also kill her. We're starting with him though. Nice little critical hit. That was good. It would be very tempting to simply rush in and lob a grenade to kill everyone. That's probably a bad idea overall. So instead, let's move in. Kill the Dasher here real quick. Okay, we could hit either of these. Um, really got to move um, the engineer back. So we got a lot of problematic enemies. And they need to die really, really soon. Way too many hit points on the battlefield. I think moving up to here. Big fat flashbang. That might be a solid idea. And then essentially um, softening up the uh, mech over there to 
alternative is to move over here and flop it over there. No. Moving in, rapid deployment. There we go. We're dealing with both of uh, the guys back here. We might pull more loss, by the way. Okay, this will soften up the mech and kill the gunner. Good, we got Renvin here, uh, Roby here next. I think he's in a solid position. I like the high ground. Um, and he can potentially flank a lot of uh, people there. Only problem is uh, his lack of cover. But he has a lot of extra hit points, so we should be fine, and we can give him 8 protocol if necessary. The mech needs to die first. Alright, it's weakened. So we can use one of the rookies. I don't want to give away this position here because it's actually a pretty good position. We can use one of the rookies here to take a shot at the mech. Okay, there we go. Now I think it's a good moment for command. Giving Roby the chance to continue his onslaught here. We could kill the Rocketeer. This guy will die 100%. Oh, command ends our turn. That is unfortunate. I thought it was just a single action. I wanted to flee shed and kill the Viper. Okay, in which case, Viper needs to die next. The rookie moves in, takes cover here, and we gotta kill the Viper. Okay, so next up, let's take this position here. To kill the advent sentry.
Dragonova moves up to set up for next round. Moving over here, and we might snipe off one or two more. Don't want to kill the uh, the purifier because that would result in another explosion, um, and the explosion triggers the loss. Could move up to here and flank the sectoid. Could also trigger a pack of loss, but that would, I think that would be unwise. What we can do is, we can pull a little bit back. like here and then overwatch which means he's going to die in his turn they are going to move first before the loss he's probably going to revive someone yep no surprise there Yeah, I knew that I would have been flanked, that was the disadvantage, but I was willing to take that risk. We're probably going to fight against another set of loss, because I am willing to take more grenades. Okay, let's start with Eltrana Dragonova. You know that's a 50% chance to kill it. The other option here is to use Roby, and that's I think a 100% chance to kill it, and then we're using Altrana to clean up. So that's one down. Dragonova moves in and loses her Oh no, that would not... Okay, I see. That would not even flank him. Interesting. Still, it's a 50-50 and I don't mind losing... I don't mind losing um, our stealth because there is nothing to scout anymore.
So let's first of all get rid of the existing loss and I'm pretty sure we're pulling new ones very soon. Oh, interesting, there is another loss. Well, see, I would want to trigger another pack of loss. So let's use the flashbang. That'll kill uh, the zombie, but it will also trigger another pack of loss. Gosh, the frame rates, they are dropping. Too many enemies. There's the lost swarm we were talking about. Let the rookies take care of some of them. I'm very grateful for the between the eyes um, resistance order. If it works, of course. Weapons empty, I can't engage. All right, fortifying up. Let's move up just a little bit. It's one down, and I would like to kill the sentry, please. There we go, good job. I think we're in a decent spot here. Reloading. He has still pretty decent odds to hit despite the range. I like that. We can deal with uh, the sector next round. Yeah, I don't want to stand right next here. That looks incredibly dangerous.
Might as well position us ourselves here. Most likely going to get one shot uh, from the sector into half cover. But there was unfortunately no full cover alternative available. Well, he's preferring the loss. So far, it's great fun because we uh, got to kill a lot of enemies. I wonder if there is another um, set of um, drops. Like the, the last one was 10. And we already killed north of 20 enemies beforehand. So we're at what, like 30 enemies? Okay, let's give Renman here a couple of kills. One, two, 97% shot missed, okay. Killing the sectoid. We have so many loss still left open and unchecked. Oh, should have killed them probably first. Well, learn something new. Gotta kill the loss first because elsewise the mission ends. Good. We killed 38, which was a great start. Um, as for him, let's give him Formidable. And Eltrana, did she finally... Oh yeah, she got her uh, promotion for real. We're going to go for Remote Start because it's an imbalanced uh, good ability. Uh, target Definition is really good as well because we're going to scout with her and that ability helps like a lot i was under the impression we could keep the corpses f you we're getting thin on manpower commander we should check with resistance hq for new recruits got a few wounded Oh, because uh, they were tired. That that makes sense. Oh no, I I unfortunately um, thought Zirkim was Renman for a second. So it says that our um, that our army strength is uh, is low at the moment. I tend to disagree. We still got like what one SWAT left over, and I think we got. A few missions that we could infiltrate. Either this one here, ambush Edwin troops to reduce enemy strength and get enemy material. This is only a one day mission, so not gonna happen. The HQ assault currently is also not going to happen. Yeah, they are still infiltrating. 
Smash and Grab is still infiltrating. We're almost done with most of the infiltrations. I tell you what, this here is 9 days and 23 hours and many of the infiltrations are about to um, are about to be finished. This one here is only 6 days. So we got to act fast. We've already queued up quite a few missions and they keep coming, but we're knocking them down. So let me find the uh, the proper SWAT for this one here. Just one sec. So I got a team ready. It's pretty much uh, almost this, uh, the same team that just infiltrated the, uh, or that just prevented the convoy from being overrun. This here looks like a pretty solid start to ambush uh, the uh, the troops, and the first team that's going to be ready with their respective missions. We a mission we have a few teams actually currently almost being done with the infiltration. Um, the first team that is ready pulling off their infiltration can then go uh, down to South Africa, and since it's still nine days, um, we should be fine and would, uh, should be even able to pull this mission off, which means we missed like one or two, and that's really okay. The game does not expect you to do all of the missions. Matter of fact, most players would skip more missions than they are doing. We still got spies. We need to take care about that. A couple of dark events um, were completed, and uh, yeah, we failed one guerrilla operations and we let one other guerrilla operation through which counts as if it would be failed still don't know about the chosens some enemy gain the grazing fire ability okay that would suck and a second hidden event might happen we're definitely continuing with between the eyes that was a super helpful resistance order. Wow. Um, I think we're getting 300 supplies. Like what? That's the most we ever have gotten. Okay, we got a few missions that are ready, ready to go now, and we might simply give it a go here. This here is Phil Mitch Mitchell with a lot of newcomers, lobbies, um, essentially getting resistance personal, but that's going to happen in the next mission. Stay tuned guys, uh, we are crushing it. Um, and we need to continue doing so. We're just, we have just uh, entered month number four, and I'm delighted to see how well we are doing. If you liked uh, Long War 2, Long War of the Chosen 2, please leave a comment down below and consider um, liking it as well. See you in the next run. Bye bye.